Is Amazon $3,000 stock price a good buy right now? I mean, it's $3,000. It's expensive. Is it really though? Hey guys, welcome to the first ever Curious Peggy video. And I'm curious. I'm curious that if I spend 3K of my own hard earned money into Amazon stock, how much will that give me a return on a yearly basis and what the price will be in the next 10 years. I do love investing in quality companies and Amazon has been blinking on my radar for some time now. I just want to know if it's going to make me rich or not in the long term. And if putting 3K in one stock for one share is a good idea or not. After researching and putting a lot of hours into this prediction, I made a wonderful easy to read Excel spreadsheet with charts and graph obviously, which predicts what the stock price will be every year up until 2030. And it's pretty good. Now, before we get into it, there's a few disclaimers that you should know. Am I a financial advisor? No. Can you rely on this video and making the choice in buying Amazon stock? Yes. All information, all stats and facts are gathered with solid data. So nothing came right up my ass. Do I own any Amazon shares? I currently own two shares. Should you like this video, you should definitely smash the like button. And if I subscribe, will there be more videos like this? Oh, hell yeah. Just comment down below what companies you guys are interested in and we can do it. I love this stuff. All right, so we all know what Amazon is. I'm not gonna waste your time in explaining what the company is, but I do wanna go over some of their future plans and some of the companies that they own. It's quite impressive. So they own quite a bit of brands and some of the brands that are most familiar to me, at least, and probably to you is Twitch. Whole Foods and Audible. It's good to see that Amazon is diversified. We don't want to have a business that just focuses on one thing. And if that one thing fails, that's it. The company is done. It's good for companies to diversify. So if things, if shit hits the fan, they're okay. So it's really good to see that Amazon owns these big brands and we can only imagine what kind of companies they're going to buy going forward. But here's where it gets more impressive, man. Check this out. Have you guys ever heard of Amazon Go or Amazon Go Groceries? It's pretty much a store or a grocery store with no employees. And the fact that you can go to any Amazon Go, go to their store, grab whatever you want, leave without interacting with a physical cashier is absolutely mind blowing. I mean, as soon as you guys leave the store, you get billed on your phone. Like that's just crazy, man. These, these guys are living in the year 3021. It's next level. Speaking about next level, they're heavily investing in Scout. What Scout you say? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a self-driving delivery device that comes to your door to deliver your package. That's all. So Amazon is doing a lot of stuff and it's a huge company and there's really nothing stopping it from dominating the online space and soon their deliveries. I don't know if you guys are up to date with Amazon or not, but this is some big news. Listen to this. Amazon is now going to be in malls and not for shopping, but for distribution, for for deliveries. Like this is this is big guys. Connect the dots guys. JCPenney went bankrupt because they couldn't get any sales because of the pandemic. And now Amazon is going to take their spot in malls and they're using it to deliver items to your door. That's huge. That's huge. What this means for you and me is when we order from Amazon and it gets delivered to us, it will be delivered same day, possibly even same hour. That's insane. Now, since we're on the topic of deliveries, Amazon is just such a smart company, man. During this pandemic, other than retail stores, airlines got affected big time. They, they, they took a big hit. I mean, they're still down and they haven't even recovered up until now. So what did Amazon do when airlines needed to liquidate? They bought some of their airplanes. Amazon bought so much more airplanes. I think right now they have about 21 planes in their fleet so they can move goods around themselves and not rely on UPS, FedEx, and or DHL. Now, this is fantastic news for the shareholder and as well as the company because this will increase the net profit. And as a shareholder or, or as an investor, I would like to see net profit going up every year. And this is also great news for customers because their shipping costs will be a lot cheaper. So everyone wins except for FedEx, UPS and DHL. Sorry guys. The fundamentals of Amazon is very clean, very solid and honestly wonderful. It's beautiful. Now let's see if we can go all in. Let's go ahead and see what the prediction holds for Amazon. For this prediction, we're going to assume that the price is 3,300. So as of 2020, the total revenue was about 386 billion with a net income of 21 billion. Shares outstanding was half a billion with EPS of 41 and a half and forward PE of 79 and 37. And the stock price paying 3,300 and a market cap of 1.6 trillion, which right now it's a bit less because of the market sell off at the moment, but it's still a good valuation and a solid valuation. So there's two ways that we can find a prediction for Amazon for the next three, four, five years. And that's that if we go back to 2019, 2018, 2017 and the previous years and see what the year over year growth was. That's the one way. The second way we can do it is we can go online and find solid predictions from other companies that are good in predicting these stuff. And that's exactly what I did. 
just to be more accurate. And upon researching by the year of 2025, they did mention that the revenue is going to be in the 800 billion mark. And so when I did more research, I found a website called Simply Wall Street. It's a fantastic, fantastic um, online source that we can that you guys can go on the website and just put whatever stock you guys are interested in and you guys can just go ahead and see what the executive summary is the valuation financial health dividends ownership future gains it's actually a fantastic website and they had a wonderful 2021 to 2025 prediction or a forecast and that's what i used in this prediction so based on that data from 2021 to 2025 i put what simply wall street forecast was and this is what we got now i couldn't find any more predictions after that because you can't really predict that long for any company really so what we're going to do here is that we're going to go ahead and build up on this and use the prediction based on these predictions and see how much the price will be in 2030 but before we do that we have to find the shares outstanding the earnings per shares and for pe to figure out what that will be so for 2020 we can see that shares outstanding was just over half a billion now looking at this quarterly shares outstanding chart we can see that it ranged sometime between 1.86, 1.87, all the way down to 0.6%. Now, I don't know if you've been looking at some Amazon news recently or not, but Jeff Bezos is selling some of his shares and has been selling recently. Now, he's been selling about 1.5 million shares to fund his Blue Origin company or his space company. So given the information that we have with Jeff Bezos selling, as well as the chart over here, we can assume and give a conservative prediction that for 2021, shares outstanding will increase by 2%. Again, guys, we should keep any prediction conservative because just in case, you know? So when we increase 2% of 2020 shares outstanding, we get 0 0.523 or 523 million shares outstanding. For the rest of the years from 2022 to 2025, we're gonna increase it by 1.75% just to be conservative again. Now, based off the shares outstanding, that's what's gonna determine our earnings per shares because that's what divides the net income and that's what you get. For 2021, when we divide the net income by the shares outstanding, we get about $54. Now, check this out, guys. When you go on Yahoo Finance and you type in Amazon stock, you can see the EPS for Amazon is $52, which is quite almost very, very similar. We're only off about $2, which is a very, very good sign. Why is Amazon showing us this now that's because the earnings per share is trailing 12 months which is literally in 2021 so the prediction and the estimation is looks like it's coming in quite nicely now that we figured out the earnings per share we can go ahead and figure out the forward pe now in the beginning i said we're going to take 3300 as our default as the amazon stock price what you want to do here is you want to divide 3300 by the earnings per share and we get 60.67 forward pe we're going to do the same thing up until 2025 and that's what our PE looks like. So by 2025, we can see that we made about almost $900 billion with over 90 billion in net profit. Shares outstanding is a little bit more. EPS of $167, which is just absolutely insane with a cheap forward PE of 18 for a tech stock. Now we have to figure out 2026 to 2030, and this is how I did it. Looking at this chart, we can see that revenue has been increasing from 2021 to 2020, based on the prediction that we have here, by about 27%, 18% for the following year, 16% of the following after that, 14, 14% of the other, for the next two years. Nonetheless, it seems to be plateauing at around 14%, but for 2025 to 2030, we're gonna keep it conservative. And we're going to say that every year up until from 2026 to 2030, they're going to grow on an annual rate of 10% in terms of revenue. I think that's being conservative. I think that's being safe. So 10% is a good number. Regarding the net profits, it tells us a different story. In 2020, it was about 33%, 34% in 2022, 38% and 38% again. And then we have a decline in 2025 to 2024, predictedly from simply Wall Street. But the percentage of net profit is absolutely impressive, seeing that they can bring this much profit in. Knowing that Amazon is in a space where it's highly competitive and making a net profit this high is quite challenging but amazon is doing it nicely so what i did here was for 2026 to 2030 i kept things extremely conservative and i said every year the net profit is going to increase by about 20 percent even though simply wall street says it's about 29 percent they're gonna grow so we're being extremely extremely conservative putting these onto the chart along with the other calculators that we have here and we get this what's interesting here is that by 2027 they're gonna be heading around one trillion dollar in revenue and that's going to be one hell of a time to see when Amazon does that. That's, I mean, that's what's predicting. Maybe it's sooner because we're being extremely conservative. Maybe not, but we will have to wait and see. But based off this prediction, $1 trillion sales in 2027, 
that's pretty impressive now i just want to take a minute and talk about the net income total revenue margin and just see how that's increasing year over year based off this prediction and here's a little chart to illustrate that it's really nice to see that the net income is taking more space slowly as year goes by it's just nice to see that they're making actual good money and that's what we want from Amazon. All right, now we have all this information. Now we need to go ahead and see what the stock prices will be year over year up until 2030. Buckle up, because this is going to get interesting. So the stock price that we chose to be defaulted for 2020 is 3,300. And this gives us a PE ratio of 79. And as we see every year, the PE ratio keeps going lower and lower and lower and lower. In order to find out what the stock price is going to be, is we have to find out what PE ratio is healthy to buy the stock at. After all, P.E. ratio is a way to indicate if the stock is expensive or cheap to buy. Looking at the P.E. ratio every quarter since 2017, we can see it's slowly dipping down, meaning that the company is getting more cheaper or more fair to buy. Now we have to figure out what the average is. And I did this in this lovely, this simple little chart with all the P.E. Averaging them since 2017, we get 123 P.E. But that's too wide. So what I did to be more realistic, I took the last 10 quarters and I took the average of that. And that was about 81. But let's be more conservative and reduce the number to the nearest tenth which is 80 so we can have a much easier time to calculate it and we're more conservative just in case so we're going to be adding the average pe which is 80 by eps of 2021 and we get about four thousand three hundred fifty one dollars for the year of 2021 and looking at some articles what they're saying by end of 2021 it seems to be quite similar and so on to 2022 which is about 5741 7772 for 2023 10,000 and a half for 2024 13,000 by 2025 almost 16,000 by 2026 18 and a half thousand by 2027 almost 22,000 per share by 2028 26,000 almost by 2029 and by 2030 over $30,000 per share pre-split obviously amazon will definitely have a stock split many times from now to 2030 but this is it without the stock split and this is just insane it really looks like that amazon is going to be going to the moon i even went ahead and i made a chart for it to see how it looks like and it literally looks like we're going to the moon on a blue origin spacecraft damn now, I'm not saying that this prediction is going to happen. I'm not saying that we're going to hit 10 trillion by 2026, although the data shows it looks like that's going to be the case. But I don't know. No one knows. Nobody knows what tomorrow is going to be. No one knows what the day after is going to be. This is just all predictions based off previous and of what the company is doing now and going forward. Is it possible? 100% is possible. But again, it's just a prediction. But hey man, if this prediction is right, if this prediction is true, I think I should dump all my savings into it and just go all in. Because man, 30,000 by 2030 per share. If I have like 100 shares, man, that's it. Multi-millionaire, retired for life, don't have to worry about anything. Now speaking a little bit of my two cents here, I think the only way that the stock price can go as high as that is that if they do a stock split quite frequently because no one has $2,000 laying around to buy one share of a stock. You know what I mean? It's just too risky for the investor because they can take this $2,000 cash and put it in other stocks and diversify rather than put it into one single stock. There has been talks that there's going to be a stock split soon and knowing that Jeff Bezos is stepping down and the CEO is coming to his position real soon a stock split is going to be extremely extremely possible knowing that ceos their compensation is tied to the company stock market to the company stock they would really want to do stock splits quite frequently so they can gain more money so it's not a matter of if they're gonna do it it's a matter of when they will do it and i think they're going to do it this year for sure and i'm telling you guys this right now as soon as amazon declares or makes an announcement about a stock split their stock price is going to jump just like what happened to apple just like what happened to tesla this stock price will go up i know a lot of people and a lot of retail investors and maybe even you that really want to have amazon in your portfolio but again you don't have three thousand dollars laying around to just buy one share of a stock so you're definitely waiting for some sort of a stock split or for a huge correction which will never happen to amazon but once the stock split happens and it will happen there will be a lot more demand a lot more buyers buying amazon stock which making it to go to the moon even further. That's just the fact. We all know that Amazon is going to be here for the next 10, 20, 30, 40 years. It's an amazing company and it's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. So now that we know that this is going to happen once the stock split happens, maybe the average PE of 80 is very conservative. Maybe 80 is too low. Maybe 100, 150 is the right PE. Nobody knows. We won't know. We just have to wait and see. How much are they going to split the stock for? No one knows. They haven't announced 
but in my opinion, it can't be, it can't be less than 8 for 1. Think about it guys, when you guys divide the current share price, which is about 3200 at the moment, at this current video, by 8, it's about almost $400, and that's pretty still expensive for a stock, but it's still in the same playing field as Apple, Microsoft a little bit, Tesla. It's in the same field as those. And so, you know, if they're going to do a stock split, they want to do it in a way that people can afford it. So I think eight for one is the minimum they're going to do. Quite honestly, I think my gut is telling me it's going to be between either 10 for one or 12 for one. Amazon is one hell of a company and everyone wants it. All the guys in Amazon know this. So I'm sure it's going to be between 10 or 12 for one it's going to be an amazing stock split and uh, i'm definitely gonna buy more all right in conclusion should you guys buy amazon stock today if you have three thousand dollars just sitting there and don't know what to do with it quite honestly i think you should whether this prediction is right or wrong or far-fetched or low-fetched whatever you want to call it Amazon is going to be here for a very, very long time. It's We all know that it's much better than putting that $3,000 into a bank account or a savings account because there's not much of a return. Amazon can give you a good return on a yearly basis. And I think right now it's giving the best return next to Tesla. Another reason why that you guys should buy this is that this pandemic has really taught everyone a hard lesson when it comes to shopping. It taught us that online shopping is the new way. I mean, online shopping was already booming pre-pandemic, but now... It's the new norm. It's very normal to go on Amazon store or any other online e-commerce store and just order your favorite clothes, your favorite foods, your favorite snacks, and let it come to your door. And not only do you save time from getting in your car, going in the traffic, getting to the store, and driving all the way back from all that mess, it's very convenient. You save a lot more time and you have more time to yourself and it's just a wonderful, convenient thing. It's a win-win situation. So yeah, in a long-term perspective, Amazon is a great choice. Hell, you can even go all in if you want. <laughs> no, don't do not do that. Don't do that. I hope you guys enjoyed this very first video. I hope you guys learned something and you got a more insight towards Amazon. Comment down below if you guys are actually invested in it or going to invest in it or just waiting for a stock split. Let's talk about Amazon stock, guys, because it's a very good stock. Let's see what you guys have to say about it. So comment down below. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe, guys. Let me know what video to do next or what company to do next. I shall see you guys in the next video. See ya.